every patient that walks through the door is a whole patient. Whether they come in for a breast problem only on the left side, I'm also worried about what's going on on the right side. But beyond just coming in for a breast problem, there's other things that, that are taken into consideration. Understanding what their fears are, understanding what their family history is, understanding what their personal concern is at that moment, and what the future might bring for them. In having the background that I have in the family practice, you know, where you always looked at the whole person, even though this is a specialty, it still allows me to look at the person as a whole person and not just someone who's coming in with a breast problem. They're always scared. I mean, here it is, it's the breast center. Whether it's breast pain or it's a breast lump or a nipple discharge or just a significant family history, their anxiety is anywhere from a one to a 10. So I try as soon as I you know, shake their hand and look in their eyes to make them feel comfortable and know that they're in the right place and that whatever this is or isn't, you know, it was good that they came in and we'll figure out a plan to, you know, to do what's best for them. And if they are high risk, we really, really do have a nice program in place for them to be followed and, and, and watched and you know, given to tips and tools and, and different things that we can do to help decrease their risk. And I will always try to be there and accommodate them in any way I can. So if someone calls and needs to be seen because they have a new problem, I don't like them to wait more than a couple of days. If I can see them that day, I will. If it's not possible for that day, within the next one to two days, I think is reasonable. And if I can't see them because I'm out or whatever, I will arrange for my colleague to see them. So that's where the team approach comes into play and, and we cover for each other all the time.